Let's start, Bob. <laughs> when you do a pachachka, you have 20 images that only last 20 seconds, and you put a picture on and say something that relates to it. This picture, for example, illustrates a poem about breaking the ice, which goes, candy's dandy, but liquor's quicker. <laughs> this one, similarly, is about something that's happened to a lot of us in restaurants or at home. Shake and shake the ketchup bottle, first none will come and then a lot will. <laughs> These are by Ogden Nash, who lived from 1902 to 1970, a very successful writer, a prose writer, and a poet. When talkies, when talkies were invented, he moved to Hawaii, Hawaii to Hollywood and talked uh, uh, himself into writing scripts and so forth. He liked animals, so a lot of his poems are about animals, like this one, which is, the cow is of bovine ilk, one end is moo, the other is milk. <laughs> he also, of course, talked about people, and many of you will recognize this scene if you are a parent or no parents and children. Children aren't happy with nothing to ignore, and that's what parents were created for. <laughs> Behold the duck. It does not cluck. A cluck it lacks, it quacks. It is specially fond of a puddle or pond. When it dines or sups, it bottoms ups. <laughs> it only takes a pretty face to inspire a poem. <laughs> How could you not write poetry? The camel has a single hump, the dromedary two, or else the other way around. I'm never sure. Are you? <laughs> this is one that many of you have heard before. I think that I shall never see a billboard as lovely as a tree. Perhaps unless the billboards fall, I'll never see a tree at all. And related to this, kind of a cautionary tale, beneath this slab, John Brown is stowed. He watched the ads and not the road. <laughs> he, he didn't get any recognition for this, as you can see. They didn't even carve his name on the tombstone. Any hound a porcupine nudges can't be blamed for harboring grudges. I know one hound that laughed all winter at a porcupine that sat on a splinter. <laughs> but another cute face, right? He didn't ignore the smaller animals as well, even insects. He wrote, the Lord in his wisdom made the fly and then forgot to tell us why. <laughs> Back to people, if you would. Marital advice. He wrote a lot of poems about this. This one was, to keep your marriage brimming with love in the loving cup. Whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up. There's some animals that he wasn't especially fond of. I don't mind eels, except as meals, and the way they feel, <laughs> which is slimy, of course. We have all heard that money can't buy happiness. Ogden Nash replied to that, certainly there are lots of things in life that money won't buy, but it's very funny. Have you ever tried to buy them without money? <laughs> and another pretty face, one that we're all familiar with. We've seen them in people's homes, in cages, singing away. The song of the canary never varies, and when they're molting, they're pretty revolting. <laughs> and you have feathers to clean up all over everything. 
the animal didn't have to be real for Ogden Nash to write about it. He said, I've never seen an abominable snowman. I'm hoping not to see one. I'm also hoping, if I do, that it will be a wee one. <laughs> but still, another pretty face. And talk about faces. A wonderful bird is the pelican. His bill will hold more than his belly can. He takes his beak enough, in his beak, enough for a week. But I'm damned if I see how the hell he can. <laughs> more faces. The turtle live, lives twixt plated decks, which practically conceal its sex. I think it clever of the turtle in such a fix to be so fertile. Turtles have a lot of babies. Bozeman, of course, is a dog town. The truth I do not stretch or shove when I state that the dog is full of love. I've also found, by actual test, a wet dog is the lovingest. <laughs> Ogden Nash was sometimes serious, and he left us with this very important cautionary warning that we must bear in mind, always. If called by a panther, don't answer. <laughs>